guys, welcome back. I'm going to use a tutorial using the Naked Smoky palette. I don't know the name of these shades, so I'm just going to kind of point to them. That's going to be our transition shade, and I'm using the Sigma E40 brush. And um, I am just blending that through the crease and all over. It's going to be the main big blend. Um, and then also, I'm just kind of fast forwarding it. I'm just kind of keep packing it on. Um, it wasn't as like um, dark. Or as I like it too, it's kind of like it's kind of in the between shades, either too dark or too light. I got that shade right next to it, and at the same pencil brush that comes with the palette. And I'm just doing the sandwich method or the halo method. I'm putting darker shades on the outer corner and um, leaving the ball of the eye open. And then that purpley color, I'm gonna put that right on top of it. I'm just kind of stacking these colors together, just not one dark color. And I'm blending it with the other side of the brush. And that color right next to the purple. And it, that's, I think that's the only name I know is dark or black hearted. And I'm blending this shade. I do have a little mini review about, uh, like an accept or reject it, of the Naked Smoky palette. I'm getting that shade and just kind of blending the colors all together. Just so it's not like dark, light, dark, and then crease shade. There's like something in between it blending all these colors together. And with the sandwich or the halo method, you kind of have to um, pack and blend, pack and blend, just to get the right consistency um, of the shadows and the right pigmentation. Now I'm getting that gold shade. It's a um, really pretty nice gold shade. And I'm packing that right in the center. That's the halo look. And if you want to, you can get that um, champagne -y, shimmery shade right next to it if you want a little bit more packing. Like a little bit more drawn attention, but I was okay with this one. And I'm blending the shades together. All eyeshadow is is just about blending them together. So they go really nice. Now I'm going to get this Japanesque um, black eyeliner. It's my favorite eyeliner ever. I've had it for a very, very long time. Actually over a year, I believe. And it still has eyeliner in it, so I'm still going with it. And um, I'm using that pencil brush that we use to pack on the inner and outer corner to smudge it. It comes in the palette. I really, really, really love this pencil brush to smudge out. It's like dense and it's firm, but it's not hard where it hurts your eyes. So whatever you use in the crease, I'm using that to smudge it out. And then um, I packed um, the gold color, what we did in the middle, on the inner corner of the eye just for the pop and then that little shimmery shade I packed it right in the middle corner I wanted more attention there as well um, it's pretty much all about the eyes today and it looks really dark and smoky but um, you can always add a winged liner if you want to amp it up too as well and I got the matte color and um, highlighted my brow bone with this shade just um, so that all the colors even blend more together. I have to fix my eyebrow, of course. And now I'm putting mascara on my bottom and top lashes. I do curl my lashes with the MAC Eyelash Curler. It's black. At least mine's black. Um, I'm using this Maybelline, like that old school pink and green mascara. This one's the, um, I think, Lots of Love one. It's like a heart-shaped one. I like it. It gets my lashes really black and it really separates them. The only complaint I have about it is that I do get the fallout from the mascara um, throughout the day, so they end up on my cheeks eventually. Not the entire, ma like not all of my mascara from my lashes, but just eventually some of them fall down. Now I'm putting on these Kiss lashes. I really, really like these lashes, um, and I believe they're a little bit cheaper than Ardell as well. Um, these are in the style of Ritzy. Um, the reason why I like these lashes, they get give a couple options. Um, also, I'm using the Infallible and Statement Nude. It's the matte gloss. I really, really love this gloss, matte gloss. Um, it's not transfer proof, but it's very comfortable. It literally feels like a lip balm, and it fades evenly. I'm using that and just highlighting. But anyways, back to the lashes. I really like them because they're tapered, and they don't like have a straight edge cut. Like They're tapered, so they fade. And then also the other lashes that um, are tapered and they have like a little bit of layers. So they look like a little bit more natural lashes. I really like them. But this is a complete look. If you want me to do more reviews about the lashes or the matte gloss, let me know. And please subscribe. I'll see you next time.